Hi guys, this is probably the worst piece of furniture I've seen in a long time. This is all MDF, so super low quality and the veneer isn't even real. I think it's some sort of paper. It doesn't look like wood and it's incredibly thin. So this is all MDF and God knows what this is. I'm assuming someone was trying to strengthen um, this buffet by adding this beam across but this is way too much for what it needs and it just looks ridiculous it's huge so obviously i'll be taking this off i'm gonna remove this base because it's super dated and i don't like it and i actually have a base that i made for a different piece a while back that i'll be um using for this one so i have a pretty crazy idea for this project Let's see what comes out of it. So I'm gonna take this off to start with. There, you can see it now. These are actually quite useful, so I might take them off and use it for something else. And I think this is just glued to the bottom. I can't see any screws unless it's screwed from the inside. Nope, it isn't. <laughs> I honestly don't know what was the purpose of this because I, you saw how easy it was to um, take it off with some engineering. I will clean up the bottom a little bit and just take the glue off with my scraper. I actually appreciate the fact that someone did a terrible job because it's super easy to take it off. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I literally just scraped this very gently to take the glue off and you can already see the chipboard underneath. So this is paper thin. There's nothing you can do with this. You can't sand this down and restain it because this isn't real wood to begin with. And yeah, this is just really cheap crap. I'm just going to scuff sand it haven't decided what I will do with this, but I don't think I'll be painting it. Whatever I'll decide to do with this, I just want a nice and smooth surface to work with. I'm just gonna give this a wipe um, with this because I don't have anything else, but I think this will just do um, the job when it comes to removing the rest of the glue. So you need to be very careful when it comes to moisture and working with particle board so I'll definitely avoid this bit because it's exposed so I don't want to put any water in there this also removed I think some of the, <laughs> the stain or the color from this paper which is pretty funny I'll give it a little while to dry all right I'm just going to give this a clean with some degreaser Again, careful with the moisture because I don't want to ruin this. Not sure this is gonna work out, but I will try to stain this. I think it will decrease the contrast between the sanded bit and the color that's still intact. So let's go with this. It actually doesn't look too bad given I will cover this. So not sure you guys have seen that video, but I made this base for my mango wood buffet. And because the buffet was about 200 pounds, it was so heavy, this just wasn't strong enough. So I ended up using something else. And it happened that this actually fits pretty well for this buffet. So I think I'm gonna try and use this base. Now I'm just going to measure the distance from the edge to make sure it's even on both sides. So now I'm gonna clamp this down. I'll put a couple more screws in it. Let's 
So I clamped it just next to the screw that I'm putting in, just so there is no gap. Sometimes when you put the screw in, this kind of comes apart. So, nice and tight. All right, I feel like the base is secure enough and I feel pretty good about it. There's lots of screws added and I strengthen it just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. I'm just gonna clean it up and probably sand a little more just to make sure it's nice and ready for the stain. All right, guys, I'm done sanding the base. Um, I've sanded all the bits that you can see really well. And this little bit right here, you can see some marks just because this wood comes from a buffer that was made from railway ties or railway sleepers, whatever you call them. And it's got lots of history. So I kind of wanted to keep it just so I can explain it to the person who's gonna buy it for me the history of how I made this and where all the parts come from I just think it's interesting because no one's gonna see this and the bits that, you, that are exposed are gonna be very nice and since this is upside down I'm gonna take advantage of it and wax the bottom I'll be using my favorite Feed in wax by Howard's. This is orange scented beeswax, all natural, it smells really nice. And on this particular type of wood, because this is mango wood, it looks amazing. And I'm going to be applying this with a brush. One of the reasons I like this wax is because it's not solid. All right guys, I'm pretty happy with the base. Now on to the second step. So these drawers are pretty basic. This is all part of the board. This is all MDF, so there is nothing real about this. But fortunately, see these have the fronts attached to them. So I'm gonna remove them and replace them with something else. The insides of the drawers are actually in a good condition given, you know, cheap materials they're made of. So I probably won't do anything to them other than just cleaning them up and yeah, I think that's about it. To clean this piece inside with some water and some degreaser. And again, you need to be careful with moisture because this is NDF, so you can just soak it. And it is actually in a very good condition on the inside. Obviously nothing fancy, it's pretty basic, but it looks good. So I don't think I actually need to do anything with it. There's hardly any scratches. I might try and use the walnut color restorer on the bottom bit, see if I can fix the scratches, but otherwise it looks pretty much new. Okay, the moment of truth. I'm gonna see what's underneath. I think this is wood but I'm gonna send it to find out for sure. Now, let's finish it. I'm going to repurpose this and make the drawer fronts from this. It comes in two pieces, so I'm gonna split this apart and use the back of it to cut the drawer fronts from it. So this is literally the first time I'm using this. I'm just gonna give you a quick um, first impression. So it's amazing. 
and comparing to just my normal um, random orbit sander that I've been using for a long time. This, first of all, is a beast and it's, um, it's just shifting so much material so quickly. This belt came with it and I think this is 80 or maybe even 60 grit. And yeah, so this would have taken me much, much longer with my normal random orbit sander. So if you do a lot of sanding as I do, this is amazing. And also, not sure you've noticed, but even though this is a really coarse sandpaper because I was sanding with the grid, it hasn't really left any swirl marks. So this is amazing. Now I'm just gonna mark the center of this piece so I can drill the hole for the hardware. So my plan for attaching the fronts of the drawers is pretty simple. I'm going to use the quick square to put it in between the top of the dresser and the front of the drawer to make sure it's all the same distance between all three of them. Push it against the top, line it with, line it up with the edge of the dresser, and I'm gonna use the hole that I drilled for the hardware. Put a screw through it and attach it to the drawer itself. Or you could simply just attach the hardware already, just literally screw the knob and then just. Um, Put some screws from the inside and make sure it's all nice and sturdy. Alright, probably gonna need some washers just because this is MDF and it's quite soft. And I'll just connect these two with some screws. Just measure the screws to make sure it's not gonna go through the front. Alright guys, as you can see I've got a new toy and um, I'm gonna use these on the doors of the buffet just because buying oak would be extremely expensive and I just don't want to do that and I don't feel like painting the buffet so I found these floor panels that are oak and they're quite matte and they look pretty good and pretty natural and pretty close to the rest of the wood that's on the buffet so I'm gonna try and use them on the doors. And in order to do that, I'm gonna cut this lid off and then cut this to size. So even though I said this is a toy, by no means it is, this can be super dangerous. And if you don't know how to use it, watch some YouTube tutorials, read the manual, because you can really hurt yourself with this. I have never had a table saw before and this is pretty much the first time I'm using it. I have done some research and basically learn about all the things that I need to pay attention to to avoid hurting myself because this can be really dangerous. And here is how I think I'm gonna do it. So I've got some heavy duty spray adhesive. So I'll spray it on the panel and on the door to um, glue it and on top of that I'm gonna use some bread nails to put it in this lip so no one will be able to see it but this will be just some additional support so I don't have a proper tool for this but this should do the job This is very easy to use, iron on the near strip and all you do, you literally just iron it 
and the adhesive that's on it melts and it attaches to the surface and if you don't get it quite right on you can warm it up just put the iron on it it will loosen up the glue and you can reposition it so i'm not convinced this adhesive is going to be enough so i'm putting some staples in just to strengthen it I can't believe that I'm almost done with this. I think this is the so second longest I ever worked on a single piece of furniture. I'm just going to clean it because there's a lot of dust from sanding. Put it all together, apply the finish and decide on the hardware. There are a few tiny spots where I just sanded through this paper thing and the MDF is exposed so I'm just gonna use wood furniture touch-up markers just to blend it in so for the veneer itself because this is actually wood i'm going to use my favorite howard's feed and wax this is orange scented natural beeswax and it will give it a very nice warm tone <laughs> 